Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Georgia. So today I'm doing a reaction to Bill Burr because I haven't done him in literally ages and I really love Bill Burr but it's because I couldn't find one that I haven't done for like so long but I was like, do you know what, I'm going to root for YouTube and try and find one and I found one called Old People and I don't think I've ever done it before so we're going to react to that today. So yeah, let's get on with the video. So. Anyway, so like I mentioned, I'm 41 years old. And if I'm lucky, you know what I realize? I'm halfway through my shit right now. I'm halfway through my life. So, you know, I'm getting nervous, you know, about dying, you know, just growing old, man. I was never really nervous about it until I got to this age and, uh, you know, you know what it was? I went to my grandmother's 100 year birthday party and I quickly realized that women age a lot better towards the end, you know? Guys, we hang with them in the beginning because we're young and then in the middle they're having kids so we kind of pass them, but that end, that last third, we're like the stock market. We just we just go right down to the ground. No, I feel like I've heard something about that. Isn't that the thing that's called like the third age or something? Where like the man is always kind of like physically fitter than the woman. And then when you get old, it completely does a switch. Cause I'm pretty sure that's the same with my Nana granddad. Like, I don't know, flash forward like 20 years ago. Like I, I, I feel like my granddad was more like fitter and like, you know, agile and stuff like that than my nan compared to my nan. But now I feel like they've done a switch now that they're older because they're in like their 70s now. And I feel like, isn't that a thing of like, that's why women live longer because when we get older, we like, we kind of maintain our physicality or like our, not fitness, because obviously you're, when you're growing older, your bones probably getting a bit brittle. But I'm like, I feel like I have, I have heard that when women do live longer, because when we get older, our bodies are more preserved. I'm pretty sure I've heard that. Or like it's a thing that men wear themselves down more than we do. You know, we, I feel like that's probably true though because even compared to like my brother, my brother works nights every single night, you know, and I, you know, and we're twins. So it's a, it's a good comparison. And I chill in bed most days and I go to uni and I've picked the more physically easy life compared to him. And he goes to work every single night, smashing it out in a warehouse. So, you know, even me and my brother shows that like he's wearing himself down more than me. Cause he's always like, I'm harder than you but I'm like yeah but by the time you're 70 you're gonna be like you know broken down and I'm gonna be like fit and I'm gonna live until 105 you know <laughs> but yeah I have heard that before that last third we're like the stock market we just we just go right down to the ground it's brutal I went to this party all the old ladies there were unbelievably shocked they were still playing cards and were right there but some of the old dudes man they, they were brutal you know, you ever see a guy like so old he has like that permanent look of horror on his face? <laughs> you know what I mean? A couple guys walk in, they look okay, how you doing? And then there's always that one guy just comes walking in just like... <laughs> Dude, even when they're sitting down meeting people, and this is my grandson, Bill! <laughs> It's like, dude, how much pain are you in that you constantly have a look on your face like that chick from The Ring just crawled out of your TV set? Dude, that's gotta be, you're like so old, like everything hurts. You're just standing up, you're like, ah, my feet! You go to lean on something, ah, my arm! Even like blinking, like air hurts, Dude, fucking kill me. Kill me if I ever end up like that. Dude, I'll fucking kill myself. I'll break myself down a flight of stairs. I'll lean back, hit my head on a sink. Whatever I gotta do. I told you, I already think about killing myself twice a week at this age. There is no fucking way I'm going out like that. At the end of my life, I'm walking around. And everyone else has that panic. Oh, fuck, is it going down? Look on their face. I don't know how you do it. How do you wake up every morning brushing your teeth? How do you fight the urge to not just jam that toothbrush oh down your throat? God. I'll tell you what kills me was only the old guys had that look on their face. None of the old ladies did. Some of the old ladies had a look of like mild disappointment, you know, just sitting there like. You know, like they always wanted to go to Europe, but they never got around to it. 
Do you know what that reminds me of actually? Like a lot of, right, I remember one time in school where like literally ages ago, now I was in school a long time ago and I still remember it to this day because we had this whole assembly, right, where they were pulling up like all of these statistics on a, like a projector board saying like, you know, this is the percentage of old people in like England that like feel lonely or are lonely or don't have a lot of family. So like as young people, make sure you're nice to them, make sure you smile to them. We had a whole assembly about it how like you know and I felt bad because I don't want to like hear that you know 70% of old people are like I don't know if that was the statistic but obviously as an example you know as an exaggeration it's like apparently just a lot of them would feel lonely so I actively as a young person was like anytime I see an old person now I'm gonna smile at them that's what I told myself I went into town one time right after this assembly and I saw an old lady right and like I was like, oh, maybe she feels lonely because like the assembly we got taught about, we were told that. So I smiled at her, trying to be nice. And she scowled at me. She scowled at me. And I was like, I was just trying to be nice. You know, I was under the impression that she might be feeling lonely because I was told that and she scowled at me, you know. And I can't speak for every single country, but I feel like some old people that you smile at, you know, in England, they just scowl at you and you're just trying to be nice. So I'm like, you know, that, you know, that doesn't go for all of them. Like, I, I like to think that, my, my, you know, my nana granddad wouldn't scowl at you if you smiled at them in the street. But like, some of them do scowl at you. And then you kind of, and then you just stand there like, whoa, and then you feel awkward because an old lady scowled at you. And I was like, I don't know what I did wrong. I was just trying to be nice. But yeah, <laughs> that is my experience of, you know, getting told that old people feel lonely only to smile at an old lady and she scowled at me. <laughs> but yeah, maybe she was just having a bad day, but I just remember it, you know. Know, and he just reminded me of it and sorry to ramble about it but, you know I just wanted to just tell that story <laughs> but yeah you know like they always wanted to go to Europe but they never got around to it <laughs> but only the old guys had like the <laughs> dude it was almost like they wanted to tell you a secret <laughs> like where's the gold <laughs> can you remember the combination <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Somebody said it's like a mild form of dementia. Or it's, you, know, you know what I think it's from? I think it's from being married for 60 years, getting nagged every day, and never once looking at your wife being like, you know what, how about you shut the fuck up? Hey, I got it, you're not happy. You know, well then fucking leave! <laughs> is it that or do they like wear you down? I think they wear you down. Because I know as a young man, I had a lot more spring in my stuff. Young guys, your girl gives you shit, you know? You go for a drive. Where's this relationship going? This feels weird. We need to talk. And hey, fuck you, lady. You get in the car and go for a drive. Punch the ceiling a couple times. You scream out the window, bitch! You know? You get it out. You get it out before your face gets all twisted up. Get it out. Then what happens? What happens? You stay in the relationship. You stay in the relationship, right? You get married. 15 years later, you got a couple of kids. You got a little gut going, right? She starts in on you with that whole laundry list of stuff you got to do because you're married. Susie has ballet practice. It gets over at two. Make sure you're there at two. You were there at two at two the other day, and she's very upset. No, you were. You were. I actually documented the record on my Facebook page. And you want to give her an uppercut. You want to give her an uppercut. No, it's a natural thought. It's a natural thought. But you don't. You never lead with an uppercut. You set it up with a jab. You get inside. You come right up through the cleavage. You rock that head back. You set it right across the linoleum. Take that dirty pistol out. You lay it next to him. Wipe off the door handle. I'm fucking with you. No, you don't do that. No, you don't. You never hit a woman. You should never hit a woman. You're going to get caught. You're going to go to jail. You're going to get raped. It's off. You don't do that, right? Well, what do you do now? What are you gonna do now, right? You're married, right? You can't yell because your kids are there. You can't go for a drive. You don't have a cool car anymore. You got like some caravan with those sticky children in the corn handprints all over the windshield. So what do you do? You go down in the basement. You just do like that whisper yelling. <laughs> To be fair though, hearing this, it's like I would almost, just 
almost feel sorry for my dad hearing this show. I mean, because my dad's like, what? He's like 50 now. Do you know what I mean? And he doesn't really have that face yet of like, you know, but you know, he's got three kids. He's got a wife. Maybe, you know, maybe we do nag at him. But do you know what? I would feel bad if he didn't use it, you know, as a reason to get away with things. And I've really worked out now. That's, that's what I think that he does. I'm pretty sure, right? Because he would put this face on, what he's talking about, this old man face. You know, you'd walk into the room and like, it's, he does that thing where like he'll pretend he can't do it because he's old he's like I, it's, I'm old I don't know how to do it it's like the whole thing of typing or the whole thing of trying to set up a television or the whole thing of trying to work YouTube I'm like a man who watches YouTube an awful amount of time really doesn't know how to use it apparently so that we do it for him and that's what he does or he'll like pretend he you know he's he's old so he can't move so like he does this whole whole old like i can't do it sad face look because you know that old man sad face look that some old men have when they look sad he'll put that on so that i feel bad and he'll be like oh go make me a coffee you know because like i'm old so i'll go make him a coffee but it doesn't work on me anymore even like him holding his phone doing this whole typing thing like this and i'm like oh he's so old he doesn't know how to use a phone properly because he types like this then i'll walk to the room and see him typing with two thumbs like this quicker than a bloody secretary he looks like, that, that's literally what he'll do that's literally what he'll do and you're putting this on so that we help you or so that we will do things for you because you're putting on this whole slow i can't use technology look even though he, they say that all the time like, we're old we can't use technology but i'm like you were still alive when technology came around so like that's not an excuse and it's like working the telly he'll literally type into the telly right like when you go on youtube on the telly you have to type the type it in with the remote he'll do it so slowly but he's just putting it on so that i'll grab the remote and do it for him that's what it is he puts it on i know he does now it's his little trick and i'm like i know what you're doing now and it's not going to work on me but I, do you know what do you reckon they actually do do that i reckon he does like old people maybe they're secretly really clever like old men so that so they're pretending to put on this sad angry i'm old now so i don't know what i'm doing look so that all of us we all just do all us young people do it for them maybe it's just a little trick to get people to do stuff for them I'm going to say this what it is, so I think that's what my dad does. But yeah, <laughs> I'm really rambling about this. I feel very passionate about the fact that he's putting this old man thing on. But yeah, because I'm like, you're only 50. You're only 50. But yeah, he does it, so we do stuff for him. I tell you now. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to stop rambling about that now. What do you do? You go down in the basement, you just do like that whisper yelling. <laughs> <laughs> just one day you, you're just too old you're just too old you're tired you've been married like 60 years your body's breaking down you blew your knee out at the y playing pickup ball like 30 years earlier in the 50 and older league you know and you just want to watch the game and she comes in that one last time right just to annoy you yeah, yeah. just picking on you yeah, you always mean to my mother and i always resented you for her. why couldn't you bet more like your brother right and you start to, you know what, fuck this, I'm not listening to this, right? And you go to get up. And that's when it hits you. That the day before was the last day you had the quad strength to get up and out of your favorite chair. And that's when the panic sets in. You're like, oh shit. Dude, I can't get up. Stop. Oh my God. I gotta listen to this for the rest of my life. trying to escape. That's what they're doing. Like, is she looking? Do I not make it? Avenge me! So, yeah, I think that's the end of that clip. Do you know what? I just love Bill Burr. I think it's because I like how he does impressions of, like, the thing that he's talking about because it makes it, like, just come to life. And he's just really funny. Like, he can take any topic, even just old people just looking, like, sad or having that, like, like that face, what he's talking about, you know. He can just make it funny. And that's what I like. He can make anything funny. I just love Bill. I'm going to still try and find new ones of him. But, yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up please subscribe and please turn on the notification bell bye